Thank you for your kind introduction. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Daniele Marcatelli from the Instituto Ortopedico Rizzoli, and uh, today I'm going to share our experience in treating painful bone tumors with the conformal bone system. Advances in cancer diagnosis and treatment has uh, improved cancer patient survival, and as a consequence, um, bone is now one of the most common sites for metastasis to occur. Up to 85% of patients with breast, prostate, and lung cancer uh, have bone metastasis at the time of their death. And bone mats are the most common ca ca cause of uh, cancer-related pain that, can, that involve a significant um, uh, reduction in the patient's quality of life. Current approaches. Um, involve uh, uh, systemic and local therapies. Among local therapies, MRG Fuse is a minimal invasive technique that uh, is um, uh, important for those patients who cannot take uh, other treatments, maybe because for um, reduction of uh, physical function or a poor um, uh, functional status. Sometimes technical uh, accessibility to the lesion could be really tricky for with the MRG fuse. And the, the procedure may cause discomfort to the patient due to a difficult positioning. The uh, conformal bone system consists of a, a transducer unit that is separate from the uh, patient's table and, and has a built-in cooling system. The CBS transducer unit can be um, positioned onto the uh, patient's body and they're strapped onto the patient's body to gain a more uh, comfortable um, treatment and to plan a more comfortable treatment for the uh, patient. There was a previous experiment, experience uh, uh, published by, uh, in 2015, um, a preliminary report in a bone metastasis patient, five patients treated with the, the CBS. Uh, out of those uh, five patients, uh, a good uh, results and fast pain relief was reported, and two of these patients out of five um, had a complete um, relief from pain out of, um, at one year. Our study was a single center prospective evaluation enrolling patients with bone metastasis. The primary endpoint of our study was efficacy in terms of pain palliation at three months. The secondary endpoint of our study was the safety of the procedure. Between 2013 and 2016, 10 patients were treated with the CBS at the Instituto Ortopedico Rizzoli. Nine patients were affected by painful bone metastasis, and one patient was affected by a painful osteoid osteoma. So this uh, table summarizes nine, the nine patients uh, affected by bone metastasis. Um, the most of the patients have osteolytic lesion. Six patients and six lesions were previously treated with radiation therapy. Only one case, the red case, uh, experienced progression of pain, while the blue case was a, a patient who received two consecutive MRG fuse treatments. Uh, pain scores were significantly improved after three and six months, and uh, no adverse events occurred. This is just one case that I would like to show you just for example. This is a 61 years old man affected by a, a right tumorous uh, lesion from uh, prostate cancer, and this is how we treated it with the CBS. But I was also thinking that it was nice to include an interesting case of a painful osteodosteoma at the first metatarsal bone. This was a male, a young male, uh, complaining of pain uh, for eight months, and after 20 hour, uh, 10, 24 hours from uh, procedure, a complete pain relief was reported, and uh, pain relief was um, lasting until two years, that was the last uh, follow-up available for this patient. Concluding, treatment of bone tumors with CBS is an effective and safe procedure for pain palliation in patients with bone lesions at locations that are not easily accessible with conventional MRG field systems. But more studies are needed to compare its efficacy to body system, in particular when local control is the goal. Thank you very much for your attention, and I would also like to thank the Focus the Ultrasound Sound Foundation for giving me the opportunity to share our work.
Any question? I'll ask a quick one if there's nothing from the audience. You guys also use the in-table in system as well, right? Yes. Have you noticed that there's a difference in the setup time? Is, is it faster to set up patients using this system than in, than the in-table? I think that the time is comparable. It's, uh, I have to say that we have a limited uh, experience with the CBS system, so maybe it's a bias. So we could be really fast when we have the uh, normal system and um, a little bit slower in uh, starting the treatment with the CBS, but it's like uh, a little bit of bias because we didn't use it so much. Do you see any clinical differences between the two systems? Because they work on different frequencies. Okay, That's, this question I think it's more for uh, local tumor control because when power, considering that uh, high gas power cannot be used with the CBS system, uh, you cannot really uh, push the treatment so hard as you sometimes want. So um, I think that the real um, difference between the two systems is that uh, when your intention could, is a local tumor control, maybe the CBS uh, could be a little less effic um, as a little lesser efficacy. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much.